One thing I forgot to mention, duct tape. It'll replace 90% of the tools you got in that bag. That's not a lie. It's the middle of winter. You're about to go on a big road trip. What's in your car? What do you carry with you in your vehicle? Good morning and welcome back to another one. Hey, changes, changes. Look at, woke up to some white stuff this morning. Not a lot, just enough to let you know that uh, there's more coming. First off, don't treat your tools like this. I mentioned in another video that, uh, well, I kept everything what I thought was a decent box and you end up with tools that are rusting out like this. If you're going to depend on your tools on the side of the road to get you out of a jam, I'm going to show you a better solution on how to take care of your tools so they won't let you down when and if your vehicle lets you down. That's a 2017 Chevy Silverado 4x4 that I'm driving. Everything on that truck is metric. I will carry metric tools. I will also carry imperial tools. Well, you may ask, well, why are you carrying imperial tools if you got a metric truck? I may not be the one that breaks down. Somebody else might break down. Uh, we're going to wire wheel what needs to be wire wheeled. We're going to clean them up. And we're going to put everything in individual Plano boxes. And we're going to keep them in a bag. A durable canvas bag. Not a box that's prone to condensation. All right, we got uh, vice grips, needle nose, tin snips, an assortment of screwdrivers, some wrenches, a file. I'm not sure what I was going to do with that. And a small tape measure. I'm going to get this stuff out on a table, get it all cleaned up with a wire wheel, and store it properly. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up our pliers and our assortment of screwdrivers. I'm not gonna make you sit and watch me do each one of them. I'll speed it up a little bit here for you. All right, that's gonna do it for the screwdrivers and the pliers. Now, basically what we're gonna do here is with these old Plano boxes, all we're gonna do is put them in there so that when we need them, they're available. We're gonna do the same thing with the pliers. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the wrenches. Get back to you in a second. Now we come to the sockets. Rather than go out and buy all new sockets, I've had all these sockets laying in my drawer doing nothing. Yes, they're not in the nice, pretty little DeWalt packages and whatnot, but who cares? The label that says DeWalt is not going to get me off the side of the road. So we're going to go through these sockets. i got a couple separate already. This is the Imperial. This is the Metric. Again, we're going to focus mainly on the Metric because that's what we have. We'll throw in a couple of extensions. Wow, okay, i got three of them going there. Not sure what I was thinking at that point. Uh, anything real small, like these real small sockets I got. I'm not going to put those in there. Let's be real. If I'm uh, getting that small, I'm using pliers. So we're going to probably go from 3 8 on up. And we're going to do the same thing in the metric. And we're going to keep them in here with the wrenches. We'll put uh, probably put two extensions and a ratchet in there. That's a 10 millimeter, but it's in quarter inch drive. So we do have the handle for that. So we may take it because it is a 10 millimeter, and let's be real. Um, I know what that's worth if anybody wants to buy one. So if it's metric and it's in the quarter inch drive, we're probably going to take it. So I sort through the rest of these. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to get that done, and then I'll show you the end result. All right, so here we are. We've got our metric, some quarter inch with the adapter there. We've got our socket. We have two, might as well put those up there, extensions, and they're all going to be in here. Imperial, Imperial, Metric, and Metric. So that one's going to be complete. Now we do have some space in some of the other boxes here, as you see. So we can put stuff in there if we really wanted to. 
but I don't want to overload it. This should help you be prepared should the need arise on the side of the road and you end up in a pinch. Next thing, we're going to talk spare parts. Not big ones, small spare parts. These items right here, I did not have with me on the Great American Road Trip. And I kicked myself in the behind when I get back because I should have had them. Simple as that. Uh, they are common sense items. Well, <laughs> apparently not too common for me, but have a look. We got hose clamps. Different size nuts. Self-tapping sheet metal screws. Most important, we have fuses that fit your vehicle. If you don't know how to change a fuse, it's not that big of a deal. Let's move on. Springs, different size springs. Also, O-rings. What's the chance of me needing an O-ring? Probably slim and none. What's the chance of me needing a fuse? Uh, could be, could be. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put all this stuff in the bag that I'm going to carry in the truck and leave it here in the shop. If I go out of town, these are in small enough packages that I can just throw them in the bag with plenty of room and not have to worry about it. But I, would more, I am more likely to use this stuff here than I am in the truck. So I'm going to put this stuff back on the shelf. I'm going to get the other stuff in the bag. I'll show you the bag here in a second. It's a heavy-duty canvas bag. It's a gym bag, but it's a heavy-duty canvas. All right, so this is the bag we're going to be using. As you can see, it's a pretty good size. I don't know the actual quart measurement on it, but it is a good size bag. It's a heavy duty canvas. We got our Canadian flag right there. It's got large pockets on the end. Another large pocket on this end here. Uh, I thought there was a side, yep, and a side pocket over here. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our sockets, wrenches, and pliers all in there, and then we're going to see what else we need. Obviously, I've stacked the heaviest ones on bottom. It may look like it took up a quite a bit of space, and it did, but I still got plenty over here and plenty of this end right here for other items. We got our tire inflation. Put that down this end right here. Tow rope. Why? Because it's Canada. We get lots of snow. That fits nicely down the side. Jumper cables, again, it's Canada, it's cold. Pry bar, and a hatchet. No, I did not make that hatchet. Tire repair kit and cement. This will all go in the end pocket. So I hope this storage solution will work for you and learn from my mistake. The plastic tote, which is basically what it is, a plastic tote, will hold condensation over the different weather conditions throughout the summer and the fall and it's just not good for your tools. Plus, having all those tools in this DeWalt bag does not help you at all. Standing on the side of the road in the cold looking for a tool, trying to scavenge through this bag because they're all just thrown in there mixed about. That's not going to make your repair any more pleasant. So this is what I've come up with. It'll work until it doesn't. Uh, the other thing, I'm going to give you a couple other ideas of what I will take with me if I'm going on a long trip. And because I'm driving a truck and I got room, I will bring my big jack, my jack stands. Uh, probably not. That's where we're at inside the bag. As you see, I still got room for some other things if I need to put them in there. Again, this pocket's empty. This pocket over here is empty. It's a big pocket over here. And it just has the tire repair equipment in there so i know in another video i went through some of the stuff that i carry i learned a lot on this great american road trip as to what i don't have and a lot of it was them fuses and springs and things like that i didn't need them but you just never know you blow a fuse on the side of the road and something as simple as a fuse you cannot fix it yourself because you didn't bring them note to self another road trip i'll just throw them in this bag and i'll be good to go oh yeah and yeah i showed you before i got a brand new grease gun if you want to know where the story behind that it's in another video on our road trip that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it not the most entertaining video uh, i'm not out acting like an idiot somewhere be prepared that's all i can say is be prepared because you just never know
I'll see you on the next one. And if you guys like this kind of video, please hit that subscribe button, the like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you carry in your truck. And uh, maybe there's something I need to add to this. Maybe I'm missing something and you guys are carrying it. Let me know down below, please, because I may or may not add it to my truck. So with all that said, as always, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Sorry, that was for me. So like I was saying, what was I saying? The welder, when you got to buy tools for somebody, see, I'll get there, it just takes me a minute.